Hey there, Sabre friends. Face Windu here from Civilized Sabres and the forums. I want to play around with the new KR Sabres pixel stick today and give you my first impressions. I put it inside a enhanced blue tube from the custom Sabre shop and I drilled out the enhanced blue blade tip to make it more of like a parabolic blade tip so that we get a really nice look to this blade. I wanted to try it inside the enhanced blue first just because I like the way that the colors come out on enhanced blue a lot. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'm using Gabe's Profi Board lightsaber which I added the new firmware to and I also put on a sweet new charcoal leather wrap. So let's get started. I've got some blade profiles set up from FET263. Thank you, FET. So as you can see, this pixel stick based pixel blade is really, really bright. I tested it on my Lux meter. The, uh, this particular color, this particular cyan blue, is 4600 on the Lux meter. Now keep in mind that we are in an enhanced blue blade. So that's enhancing the color a little bit. Now compare that to, uh, let's say, this same color coming out of the photonic green TriStar. I have 8000 on the TriStar. This one here is made up of the 50-50 LEDs set up a bit closer together on this KR Sabres pixel stick than in the normal 50-50 strips that you could buy elsewhere. Also, these are backed up to the other side of the uh, strip, so you do not need to use two of them. Very nice an evenly lit blade. I did sand this enhanced blue blade tube. Now this particular cyan color or sky blue color is kind of fluctuating between something that is uh, flickering like a white or a yellow in there. This is a blade style from FET263, check out his YouTube page if you want to see all the cool stuff he has for the Profi blade styles. All the ones I'm going to show you are from FET263. Now I've only used a KR pixel stick inside this blade. This is the first one that I made with the KR. I think it's very smooth. You know, the blade ends up being a little longer than I'm than I'm used to. This is about 35 inches long, this blade. And, you know, it's a little bit heavy for my liking. When I build a blade with the skinny strips, I do like the lightness of the skinny strips. And also, I build them a little shorter than this. So I build my skinny strip of blades um, you know, maybe 32 inches is what I like now, 33. This, about 35.5, is a little bit heavy for this particular lightsaber, I would say. This is a very lightweight hilt. And what I did just find out from Griff, Griff's Custom Sabers, is that these are able to be cut. So on the next one that I do, I will probably cut it down. Now that does risk damaging an LED or two, I would imagine, because the LEDs are staggered on the pixel stick. And if you don't cut it just right, I bet you that you could cause some damage to an, a nearby LED. So what I'll do is I'll cut and I'll test. And then if everything looks good, I'll build the blade. If something's wrong with one of those like LEDs you know, close to where I cut, then I'll just cut again farther down to try to 
get rid of anything that went wrong. So um, I haven't tried it yet, but Griff did. It worked for him. So I'm going to be doing that. I think I will take that chance, just like Griff did, to reduce the length of the blade. This is a little too long for me, and I am six feet tall, so this is still a little bit long for me. So let's go to the next color. You know, the red looks great. Uh, this on the Lux meter, red is never a high color. I think I saw uh, 1800 with this, but it's a, it's a very even, even, even red. Um, the KR Pixel Stick along with the diffusion that I added to this blade, it looks great in red. It looks absolutely great. Let's see it in green. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, the green looks really nice. You know, surprisingly, this green color, which is normally, greens are normally brighter on the Lux meter than anything else, but this wasn't as high as that cyan color, which rated uh, 4,600. The first color I showed you, this was about 4,200. Um, now, you see how when I, when I swing it, this is part of the FET 263 blade style that he, that he came up with for this, is that it, it, uh, it can get brighter as it swings. Now, my light meter, it, I have it set up to where, I mean, I can't swing a lightsaber and test the brightness at the same time. It doesn't really work that way, so I actually don't know, you know, if it's, what the, what the ratings are as you, um, as you swing. And I had my Lux meter on the setting that shows me like the maximum number. So even though there's fluctuations here, um, I'm thinking that uh, it captured the highest number even through those fluctuations. Oh, that was nice. It's another one that gets brighter as I swing. yellow color looks great. Different type of red here with a different blade style. As I swing it's changing. It's very cool. You have to set your lightsaber to the number of pixels that are in the KR pixel stick because it is wired in a, as a series strip. So instead of one side of the strip having a hundred something LEDs and then the other side of the strip having a hundred something LEDs and they're just mirrored, what this is is they're kind of crisscrossed. So it's one on one side, two is on the other side, three is on the other side, four is on the other side, five. So they, it crisscrosses as it climbs the blade. So there really isn't two sides, it's all one blade. So I think people that have a close eye on the effects will probably notice that the effects are smoother on the KR strip. Um, I haven't particularly noticed anything like smoother or anything yet. I, this is my first impressions video, so we're just kind of taking our first impressions of it. But I think that that's the idea, was that it's supposed to be um, kind, of, kind of utilize the power of the Profi or the Crystal Focus 10 and whatever board you're using. Definitely looks very even, edge to edge. There's only a couple colors that I can notice uh, any type of hints of a side shadow. There was maybe a little bit of that uh, on the yellow. But for the most part, I can't tell 
uh, everything looks very smooth, especially on these on these animated fonts or anything red or green. Just looks completely, completely smooth. So that really, really helps having so many LEDs packed so tightly. This is pretty cool, and for you know creating a new strip that is specifically for lightsaber fans and people who want the smoothest, smoothest lightsaber blade. Very nice idea. So thanks to Cal KR Sabers for putting this project together. I got a few of these. I'm going to be testing the rest of them. I'll let you know how I feel about it again uh, when I test some more blade styles and colors. And I'll certainly let you know when they're available on CivilizedSabers.com. Should be pretty soon. Thanks for watching this video. Force push that like button. Subscribe to the channel and go ahead and take a close look at the channel memberships. There is a couple tiers where if you sign up that way you can actually get any blades that you want from Civilized Sabers throughout the year. Whether that be the Dual Star, or the Tri Star, or the new KR Pixel Stick which we'll actually be calling the K-Star. Now that I've been playing with it for a while, the blade is actually getting warm. So you can see, you could feel all those 264 LEDs at work in there. Make sure if you're using the Pixel Stick from KR Sabers that you are diffusing properly. I think the way to go is with heat shrink around the pixel stick itself, which is what I did here. I have multiple layers of heat shrink so that it's secure inside the foam. You wouldn't want to have an issue where the heat from the LED starts to melt the foam. Weapon of a Jedi. Then I am a Jedi. Well, it's drill power. Watch the window. If you like what I do here on Space Windu channel, you might like my second channel. It's called Comic Book Creation Live, and that's where I work on my latest comic book, Albatross Junction, with my friend Kevin. We do a live show every single Wednesday. You might want to drop by and check it out. It's a really cool story that is sort of like Star Wars in some ways. There's some space travel, there's a lot of action, alien creatures, monsters, and uh, future Earth, uh, maybe over a thousand years into the future. So go check out Comic Book Creation Live.